What's up guys? It's a beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska. And as most of you know, Kristen and I have lived in this state, Alaska, for almost two years now. Two years and not once have we fired a gun in the state that is known for big guns. So here's where we're shooting today. As you can hear, it's a very popular place to shoot. See, here's what I'm interested to find out. I'm interested to find out if uh, if I'm gonna be a steady shot because I've been blogging for a long time. I've been making videos for a long time. My, my hands have been holding cameras for a very long time. So my hands are very steady. Will that translate to shooting um, more accurately? I don't know. So I just went hiking and look what I found. Lots and lots of nice little targets. Awesome. So the first gun that we're shooting is uh, Blake's pistol. This is the pistol that he takes with us when we go salmon fishing because there have been a couple of times when we're out on the river that we've had big animals come up to us. Bears, moose, and he just keeps it on him just in case. Luckily we've never had to, to fire at anything. Alright, so this is my very first time firing a handgun. Never fired one before. <laughs> yeah. Next is Blake's 100 year old rifle. Now this at first it looks a little scary. You're like, dude, is this thing gonna fall apart? But dude, it's actually pretty sweet. All right, here we go. That felt nice. It's like a chew, <laughs> chew it. There's another one in there. All right. Just keep catch that brass if you can when you're done. That close. Next, we move to shotguns. Now, shotguns, I know. Pretty nice. Yeah. Got it. When I was younger, I used to go hunting with my parents a lot. Of course, we used shotguns for uh, duck hunting, quail hunting, uh, pheasant hunting. But then the guys brought out another type of shotgun, which I've never used before. And oh my God. Oh, what? Hold it, hold it tight and low. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, yes. <laughs> Woo. Rock and roll. Cause an avalanche. <laughs> All right, a little lower on the shot. Let's see, what am I going for? I'm gonna go for the uh, fire hydrant. Hold on, let me fire, move around. All right, go ahead. Yes, got it. Terminator right there. <laughs> no oh. kidding. Dude, this is so good. Here, somebody take this from me. <laughs> After this shot, though, yeah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> that is the most fun I've ever had with a shotgun. The only problem with it is it starts hurting right here after you fire it a billion times. <laughs> America! <laughs> After that, I shot a couple of other pistols, and while they were good, there was one handgun that I was really excited to try the 41 Magnum. Hang on, do it. That's fun. I hit my target. Okay, that is my gun. That is my gun, and here's why. Number one, it is loud. This is a super loud gun. And you know, honestly, when I'm buying a gun, I hope that I never have to kill anything with it. I really don't. This is all about protection. So if I can get a gun that is super loud, that's gonna scare stuff off, hopefully. Uh, number two, if it doesn't scare stuff off, it is a very powerful gun that will either stop or significantly slow down whatever it is that's coming at me. Um, a lot of the guys were telling me that this could stop a bear. It could stop a moose. Of course, there's no guarantee to that. It's all depending on how you shoot and uh, I don't know. I've never, I've never tried. I hope I never have to. But again, I would much rather have this over any of the other pistols. The only drawback is, number one, it's expensive. Uh, the, the ammo is expensive, uh, the gun is expensive, and uh, number two, it's a little harder to conceal. But, you know, it's, it's not all about concealment. Like, when, if, if I'm out, you know, hiking on my own, I'm not trying to hide it from anybody. Um, but I can put it away, so, you know, there's that. But yeah, that is absolutely the gun that I'm going to use because it just feels good.
All right, so now I'm gonna do the gangsta shot. This is how you do it. Hat sideways. Pants sag just a little bit low. There you go, pants sag. There. Let's load this God. Look at this. Look at this hanger. Look at this hanger. That's impressive. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, Look at this. Sweet. This is the best hanger. Okay. This is um, an issue. Wow. This is, is this a world record? I think it's a, oh, it broke. Oh, <laughs> oh still there. <laughs> so after firing off a couple hundred rounds, Blake comes up, he's like, hey, you guys ready for some tannerite? Uh, what is tannerite? Tannerite is, um, well, it's this stuff that when you shoot it, it goes like this. Wow, you're making that whole thing? Well, you make it, you mix it at once and you split it into two. Oh, got it, okay. But we could. So now we just shake it? Yep. We can make a song out of this. I gotta hold my pants up. I gotta hold my pants up. I gotta hold my pants up. Marka. Nice. That stuff's rad. So yeah, we had a lot of fun. I learned a lot, and I do plan on doing some more gun vlogs as soon as I get my uh, my gun. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Whoa, damn, I gotta do that again! <laughs> saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm So much to see, so much to do And the best part is we're sharing it